Hey there, welcome back to the Big Ski family. We are, oh my, what are we up to? Uh, you tell them. <laughs> you know, this winter's shaping up to be a little different than last winter. We've been trying to figure out the balance of doing school, doing work, life, uh, getting some skiing in, you know, doing all the things we do. And I'll be real frank with you, I thought something was missing from our very full life. And that thing was more work for the children. Um, when we were on the farm up in Dufer for about a seven year period, there were just tons of projects, were there not? Oh yeah, we canned, we had a hundred fruit trees, we had a hundred chickens, we had beehives. Grass fed milk beef. Milk cow, we milk canned, cow. you know. All of it, right? Yeah. And it was so good, because our old children benefited so much from working together and taking on projects and learning through working together and developing this great work ethic, the sense of efficiency, um, an awareness around what gets product, you know, productivity and what gets things done. And the joy of work, the joy of accomplishment, the joy of achieving, the joy of overcoming, the joy of creating value. And when they were in LA, we, our family was, the children really engaged in their work. They really connected with our team at Ceramic. They really enjoyed the fruits of later coming in. Hey, we got six pallets done before lunch. Hey, we got 13 pallets for the day. It, you know, and I saw these wins for them and I thought, there's so much to learn in having your own little business, a small little business. And so we're super excited. This week, about three days ago, we took um, on and bought a very small candle company from a really precious family. Yes. Brandon and Noel Lee had started this business about three and a half, four years ago as a little sideline hobby business so they, they could raise funds to uh, pay for the adoption of their daughter. And it's just such a sweet story, but they're at this place now where the business has gotten to a size where it raised the money that they wanted and it's now becoming a burden and it's just too much and it's a little stressful. And so we said, oh, we need a burden. We need oh, some yeah. stress. We, we don't, we're not doing anything <laughs> here. So we took on farmhouse candles. Farmhouse candles. And so we're super excited. Let me show you what we've got. Um, because we were out there uh, making candles. We're, we're making them tonight. Here's a little one, right? This is the one coming up for Valentine's Day. I don't know if any of you are into Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. You like it? Yes, it's called Love You More. No, I love you more. Oh, I love you more. No, I. you can see where this could get you into big trouble if you love her more than she loves you. But anyway. Big seller, number one seller right here. For Valentine's Day, and that's kind of fun. That's an eight ounce. And then we have other flavors and scents in a 16 ounce as well. That Love You More we have in 16 ounce. But anyways, I say that to say, we're set up in our garage and I'll show you in the shop. We'll show you in just a moment. But it's so fun. All the way down to Cordy, Bentley, Kenzie, Barrington, Chloe, Kimmy, Caroline. We've all been immersed in this. Janice, all of us, just in the last three days. And we're getting it sorted out, figuring out what we don't know, which is a lot. And there's such a steep learning curve, but it's so fun to learn something new, to work as a team, and to create something that's beautiful and that creates ambiance. And we are big candle fans. Oh yeah, we've got candles in just about every room. We've always had candles. And it's like, we're both into this homey hospitality. It's romantic, it's celebratory. Tell them why these candles are so special. It's not. Tell them why they're special. Oh, why candles? Oh, yeah, these well, aren't just any regular I mean, candles. of course not. These are farmhouse candles. Yeah. But no, they're soy wax, so they're not a paraffin wax. There's no lead and, and junk in the wicks, so they're all natural. They burn super, super clean. There's no soot, there's no uh, carcinogens. It's all natural scents. So it's a really clean burning, beautiful smelling, but good for you candle. Okay, don't eat them. And people are crazy about the scents up here. Um, it's a not, local. Not like loco, Yeah. <laughs> but they like them. Yes. They like them, they're not, yeah. Anyways, so yeah. you know, here's the deal. It's mainly through wholesale accounts here right now uh, in Sisters, I mean, sorry, in Oregon, um, a couple in Montana and Wyoming. But our goal is to kind of do like my brother's uh, Ben Soap Company and take these candles that we make here in our RV barn um, as a family and sell them online and spread a little, let our light shine around the world and uh, just one candle at a time. So anyways, I hope my humor doesn't wax worse and worse. Uh, with let's this. go to the barn. <laughs> hey, Come. we'll give you a little tour. Hey, Caroline. Hello. So this here has been our secret weapon over the last three days, <laughs> literally. 
Caroline has just jumped in head first. And what is, what's some of what you've been doing? Just a little bit of what you've been doing on this we've been candle doing, shop we've been here. Doing, like inventory reports, trying to track down what we have, what we need. I think that's been the biggest one. Um, and then just creating systems, systematizing the back end of it where it's not necessarily the face, but it's what keeps things going and keeps things in a consistent flow and whatnot. So it's been a bit of a Caroline bit of a challenge. has <laughs> torn into box after box of whether it's labels, whether it's glass, whether it's wicks, whether it's scents. You know, all there's there's all these raw materials that go into making candles, and it's weird because it's a business in motion. So meanwhile, you're it trying is. to fill orders, it is. you know, and and ship them, and some are wholesale accounts, and some are retail accounts from online, and yep. some are coming through phone, yep. email. I mean, it's all over the place. But you I mean, what, been... what it sales people like what wholesale customers accept wholesales at certain times like you can't just show up at any time right what they need right. some of them really like their invoice other ones don't care if it's immediate right so which ones get UPC codes yeah. which ones don't UPC have codes. UPC codes I mean <laughs> I think we blew out one once but uh, we're blowing everything we're once it out, but only once you know? right yeah we right don't really make the same mistake twice which that's is it good, so. we're figuring it out so super excited for all, thank you for all you've been doing it's awesome welcome. appreciate you <laughs> awesome all right so we got the candle crew going out of here yeah. guys look over we got cordy got bentley Woo. got barrington and we got kenzie of course mama we got the supervisor overseer boss the boss the jefe anyways look at that guys what are you doing um, making candles aren't you wicks, stabilizing kinda. those wicks while they dry while they dry isn't this fun yeah it's, it's a kick isn't it so, Bentley, you just filled up pictures full of wax, right? Page. It's all ready. Yeah. And what these calendars are uh, for Valentine's Day, right? Yep. Got to have lots of them in case people want them. <laughs> Make their Valentine's Day special. All right, very cool. What's your favorite part of making candles? Uh, putting the stick, the warning labels in the lid. Warning label in the lid. Where the, where's that? Show me. We did 750. You did 750 of those? Show me one. Pick it up so you, you uh, set the warning label yep, that's in the it. lid. Oh wow, mm -hmm. yeah, look at that. So as you can see, we don't have any idea what we're doing, but we're learning fast and we're learning together and we're having a ball making these things. And every single candle I want you to know that we're making is, it's made with a mission and it's made with love for the people that it's gonna find its way into their homes and into their hearts. And we just, we hope that if you're um, looking for a candle, consider Farmhouse Candles, yeah. all right? Hey, with Valentine's Day coming up, I just want to make a little note here about marriage and your sweetheart. Who are you talking um, about? Hey, marriage is made up of lots of little moments and it's not just big moments, three or four big moments. And can I, can I say something about that real quick? Yeah. I think guys in particular struggle with this because we think, hey, you know what? If I do something big for Valentine's Day, or if I do something big for her, our anniversary, or if I do something big, you know, buy her a car, or take her on some big trip, guys can be a little bit that way. And it's not about that, you're saying? No, I'm just gonna give you a little example. I got- What are you doing? Two, you didn't know I was gonna do this, but see these little Valentine cards? It's not even those? Valentine's Day yet. And my husband got these for me. Just because, and so. Where are you hiding those? I, you know. Whatever. My ways. Okay. But um, I just wanted to encourage you. I know Valentine's Day is coming up, but it isn't just that day. It's the days before, it's the days after, it's 365 days a year. And do the little things because that's what makes a great marriage. And you know, she shows you a card, which is easy to do. It's just, you know, think of it, buy it, do a little note. This girl serves me every day of my life in a, a bazillion ways. And I'm serious, whether it's toothpaste on my toothbrush or I, I just went into my room and a stack full of fresh clean laundry that she did for me. These things matter a lot. And it's the littlest things. Yeah. I love you. So go love your spouse, go love your children, go love life and... We'll see you next time. Yeah. Have a great one. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.